Hey everybody, Ninja Cupcake here, and welcome to How to Draw an Anime Girl. So for this video, what you'll need is a pencil, an extra fine point sharpie, and an eraser. And of course, you'll need a piece of paper. So I like to start off my drawings by starting with the head and the chin. I usually start with the side of the face and curving downward into the chin and coming back up to make a point for the chin. I don't want to make it too pointy though because it's a more chibi style of art and we don't want really pointy chins for chibis. So for the eyes, uh, the winking I did more of a pointed curve like a mountain or something like that with an eyelash on the end. And for the eye, I just did a cir half circle and then came it into a point for the eyelash. And I did a J right at the end of the eye for the reflection and then came it around, came back around into a circle. All you need to do for the nose is a little N that's nice and rounded. So starting on the bangs, what I did is I did a bunch of curves, but I made sure that I didn't go into the eye. The eye always is layered above the hair when it comes to drawing anime. So shading and coloring in the eye, I just did a funny looking U and shaded in the upper part of it. And I added little skin folds on top of the eye to make the eyes look nice and big. So this particular anime girl is wearing earmuffs, so what I did for the muff part is I made little squarish ovals on the side of her face and then came up in a rainbow-like curve on, over the top of her head to create the headband part of the earmuffs. So for this little girl, I decided to give her ponytails because she would look pretty cute with them. So what I did is I made a nice flowy and curvy line for the hair part of her ponytails. And for the mouth, I just did a little triangle that was kind of curved off and came down into a point closer to the chin. So I decided to give this little girl a nice fluffy scarf and a warm coat. So I get, did nice loose sleeves that were pretty big on her actually. And for the scarf, I did a cylinder instead of a neck because the scarf comes around her whole neck and it's nice and big on her. So for the bottom of her coat, I just did a nice wave, and she's wearing mittens, so we don't need to worry about drawing fingers or anything like that. So I layered her earmuffs and ponytail behind her arm, so I erased the part that was cutting through it. And for her scarf, I just came down into a curve and then squared it off on the bottom. So her coat is a little button-up coat, so I drew a line kind of to the side that ends in the deepest part of the curve on the bottom and I drew four circles for buttons and D-like shapes for pockets. Her coat is kind of blowing in the wind, so I curved it off into a semicircle so you could sort of see underneath it and came down into a curve for the skirt with two lines on either side. Her shoes and feet are pretty simple. They're little curved cylinders with a nice curvy line on the bottom of them to create the feet and the toes. So chibi, you don't really have much of a foot. You just have cute little cylinders as feet. I decided to give her some lace-up boots, so I did a kind of diagonal pointy line with X's all in the side of it to create the lace part of her boots. And I erased the top part because her boots laced together. I gave her little bow laces, but I decided to erase those later, so if you want to keep those, great. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just getting rid of a lot of the hairy sketch lines and bolding it out to make sure I want to sharpie what I want to keep. So this is quote unquote phase two of my drawings where I ink the sketch and make it nice and coloring book worthy. Inking is pretty simple. All you have to do is go over your sketch lines and make sure you're really careful about what you go over because you can't erase this part. So now that my sketch has been inked, I need to use my eraser to get rid of all of the pencil lines that I don't want in the drawing. So now that we're done erasing, we're going to need to use our Sharpie again so we can add fine detail and a shadow of the ground that she's standing on. And I like to add some blush whiskers, as I like to call them, to give her a little bit more personality in her face. For the shadow, you need to be really careful not to get into the drawing that you just made and make it nice and sketchy shadow because you don't need to be super detailed and you don't need to make it 
super filled in for her shadow. And of course, always sign your artwork. I added a little heart to the top of the page to give the picture a little bit more personality. You can do that if you want, it's totally optional. So I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial and I hope you tried it out on your own. Thanks for watching everybody!